Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. Today's video is going to be a review of a very unique eyeshadow. It's not a duochrome. We've heard of duochromes. We love them. This is a quad chrome. So not two, not three colors, but technically four colors are supposed to be represented in these pigments. One of you guys pointed me to this brand, Beauty Bar Baby, and I purchased two of the three pigments labeled as quad chrome on the site. The loose pigments retail for $8.25 while you can get the same shades and pressed shadows, but those will go for $17.25. I don't mind working with loose pigments. In fact, in some cases I prefer it, especially if it's something like this where I can use it or I'd like to use it as like a liner like I'm wearing today or just mix it with a medium. Loose pigments for me are preferred, but know that you can pick up both. So the first shade I'm gonna talk about is Hocus Pocus. This is what I was wearing a few videos back that piqued a lot of y'all's curiosity about these. And honestly, of the three colors they offer, it was easily the one that piqued mine as well. And the one that I feel like you get four distinct tones from. So on the website, they don't actually say specifically what shades you'll find in here. They just show the pigment from different angles to illustrate the colors that you might find in there. And so in looking at Hocus Pocus online, it seems like you're going to get a burgundy, a golden bronze, a golden green, and then a green, depending on what angle you look at it. Maybe even like a deeper purple at that too. Now I found when I was wearing this on my eye in that video, I'm sitting in direct natural sunlight and what I found, and I think you'll see it here, this is what it looked like on my eye. It was just pretty much pure purple, but then as you turn your arm, and you really can't even see it here. So I took some video from different angles so you could see it there, how strong the green and gold shift in this color. It's easily my favorite of the two shades that I have because the shift is so strong and you can really, really tell depending on which lighting you're in. So even though it looked like it was this kind of purpley pink on my eye. Granted, it had a lot of shift in that way on my eye. To me, it came off as a duochrome where then when I moved throughout the house in different lighting throughout the day, as lighting got warmer as the sun went down, it really started to bring out those green and golden tones. It was just so cool. The other shade that I picked up is Abracadabra and it is what I am wearing on my eyes today. This, I see less of a shift amongst the four tones in. In the pictures online, you can see that there's a strong bluey purple, a red purple, a teal shift and maybe a slight golden sort of situation happening. But like I said, they're just not quite as distinctly different colors as what I saw in Hocus Pocus. And in looking and comparing Abracadabra, which I have, and then the third color, which is called Hypnotized, those looked very, very similar to me. Hypnotized is purple base like Abracadabra, but lacks the teal shift. It's mostly just varying shades of purple, which do come through distinctly when you can see them at all different angles here. But given how much less shift I see in Abracadabra versus Hocus Pocus, I'm glad I didn't pick Hypnotized up because I feel like I would have seen a less dramatic shift and it would have been too close to Abracadabra. So just wanted to put that out there in case you're seeing the three of these and wondering what the main difference is. I, of course, I don't have Hypnotized to give you a visual comparison, but that was just my reasoning and walking through which shades I chose and ultimately which I prefer to wear. That's not to say I don't like Abracadabra as a shade. I just really, really love Hocus Pocus. One thing I thought was interesting and I want to point out, which is why I have these swatched over two different bases, is that they don't really shift depending or, or change appearance depending on how deep of a base they're over. You can expect these, I think, to look the same across everyone, which is kind of what I wanted to illustrate here. With so many um, shifty shades, duochromes, things like that, you can swatch them over a deeper base and they really pop and look differently. It's the case for a lot of these kinds of shadows. And so I gave it a try and I just thought it was very interesting that really, I mean, I'm not sure if it's because it's so multifaceted, there's so many pigments at work here that it really is a completely opaque base. So it really doesn't matter where you apply under it, but just wanted to point out that these really are true to shade no matter what skin tone you're applying it on or what base you might be applying it over. Overall, I don't think it's a surprise. I really, really like these and think you should consider checking them out if they look like something that would appeal to you too. And in general, I think these are gonna be a little bit more trendy. I've seen, these aren't the only, well, that's the first time I heard of a quad chrome. You guys tag me in a post on Instagram of another brand who makes very similar shadows. And I was follow, or I follow JD Glow, the brand on Instagram, and they recently launched multi-chrome pigments that perform, well, not multi-chrome, multi-chrome liners. So they're already mixed with the medium. You just apply them and oh, if they weren't sold out, I think the pre-order sale went like hotcakes. If they hadn't been sold out so fast, I would have jumped on it because those look incredible. But again, it's just, these are all new launches. I think this is good. This is gonna be a new trend and I'm into it. I mean, I'd like bathe myself. I would apply this all 
all over, everywhere if I could, you know? Which was probably too much information. Rain it in, Bales. Okay, I, that's all from me. That's all, those are all my thoughts on these pigments. Gotta stop myself before I go on too much more. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions over the things that I talked about in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.